Good morning, y'all. It's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. If you're new here, welcome. I know there are many of you who have come on in the last few weeks, and I just want to say hey, and thank you so much for subscribing. I do have my 500 subby giveaway on, and I'll remind everybody of that this weekend. But I know many of you came from different channels, and I just hope that you feel welcome here. It's a bit of a weird time, just because I'm in Toronto for my mom's medical issue. But normally we're on here doing all sorts of fun things. And hopefully you feel comfortable here and comfortable sharing your, your creations with us here. Because that's really what we love. And we like supporting one another on this channel. I also want to say hey all to all my regular subscribers. Um, thanks again for all your messages. Last night I was smiling. You guys are amazing. And thank you to Cruz. Cruz, girl, thank you. So Cruz heard, uh, you know, paper pads here are actually, I said they're $11. They're $11.99. They're 12 bucks. So um, Cruz was at Michael's yesterday texting me like, okay, what didn't they have in Canada? Um, so she was amazing. But I also, I feel bad. I feel like I enabled Cruz because just like Ebony enabled Crafty Cakes, I enabled Miss Cruz, uh, you know, by bringing our attention to those Michael's pads. But I'm not alone. Lots of you are hauling those Michael's pads. And why not? You look with, they're, when they're $5 in the U.S., that's a great deal for those pads. When they're $12, not such a great deal. But this is the reality here in Canada. And I'm really glad for our Canadian subscribers that I'm able to, like, speak to the price differences here. Because, you know, we've heard Canadians talk about this. Right? Many times. But this is like the first time your girl is here going, guys, they're not kidding. They're not kidding. It's, and it's not about the dollar exchange. Because when something is $8 at home and it's $31 or $32 here, you know that's not about a, an exchange rate. Anyway, y'all, welcome. I feel like cruise this morning. I, I got myself some pretty wrapping paper. Oh, yes, I did. Now, you know I haven't had wrapping paper the whole time in the Holy Land. So can you imagine how excited I was to go get, like, pretty wrapping paper? I was like, oh, yay. Um, I don't have a lot of selection because I'm limited to whatever stores are near the hospital. And But this actually was from a store here called Indigo, which is a bookstore, um, very much like ours back in the U.S. and very similar to the ones in the U.K., and, but they also carry gift wrap and cards. So I got some cute gift wrap and guess what I found? I couldn't believe it. So first of all, Miss Margaret is low on sequins and I know that and I happened to see these yesterday. Forgive my nails folks. I have not had time to do my hair. I have not had time to do my nails. There's just, I get home at 7 30 or 8 o'clock from the hospital and I'm so pooped guys. I'm so pooped. I can't, I can watch your videos and chat with my best friend and that is it. But I did find these yesterday, Margaret, and look how pretty they are. Forgive the glare, folks. Look at that. There's a really nice minty green. I've never seen this shade of green. Not even online from Miss Allie. Nope. So these are really pretty, and they come with coordinating flatbacks and jemmies. I love those, and I got a different set for her. Look at these. Now, on my camera, you're not going to be able to tell this, but when you look at these, they look purple and iridescent in real life. They're super cute. It's like two-tone. They're really pretty. So I picked up some sequins for Miss Margaret, and I finally saw Forever in Time. I've watched a whole bunch of you guys haul it, and I have never seen it. Not once. Well, this little store near the hospital had Forever in Time, and I could not believe what a bargoon it was. So six bows and six flowers, $1.25, guys. And look how cute they are. They're really cute. I couldn't believe it. $1.25, see? Unbelievable. So I finally saw Forever in Time. I wish they'd had a bunch of these. I would have bought them for folks for my holiday baskets going out to people. But you know what? They only had a few. So I got what I got. Um, put one in Miss Sabrina's birthday box, which is going to be late. Just because I don't know how long Canada Post is going to take to ship from Toronto to the U.S. But this girl needs the weekend to wrap everything up because I have too much on the go with my mom. And that means she's going to get it late because her birthday's this week. Um... And that's the end of her challenge. So, Miss Sabrina, I'm sorry your birth, your last birthday box is going to be late with your ornament and all the other goodies I've picked you up. I apologize, girl, but you know that because we've been texting. You know. You know what's going on. So, I know you don't mind. I just feel bad. But, okay, guys. So, that, I got those. And then I got these for Miss Sabrina. And, again, they only had two packages, guys. I wish they had more. These were two bucks. They're handmade flowers. And look how pretty they are. And they've got our favorite colors, like the mint green and the pink. 
So I know she's going to like these. So Forever in Time is really cute, and it's really inexpensive here. So the glue may be $18, but the Forever in Time is 2 bucks or $1.25. That's a bargain. I am biting the bullet and paying for the fabric tack. Uh, my best friend is going to take me over to the Michaels today, and we're going to use a coupon, and I'm going to pay $9 for it instead of $24 or $18. Yeah. But it's still three times more, but I'm going to suck it up because I can't finish Miss Sabrina's ornament without it. And I can't finish Mrs. Bones without it. i got to add some flowers to her here, and I bought the flowers. Um, your girl doesn't have triple thick here, so Miss Susan Tootsie Tucker, when you get Mrs. Bones, add a little triple thick to those flowers, please. Um, hey to Miss Alice. Hey, Alice. Uh, I did pick you up a couple of cute things yesterday. I'm not going to, I don't want to ruin the surprise. They're small. Um, and I got them for Alicia Love Letter Generation 2. Because like the Canucks folks, our Australian and New Zealand friends have to pay a big price for their items, as you know. As do people like Healing Montana Nana. So, you know, maybe something in my little basket for her too. So I'm going to spend the weekend packaging up. I really was going to do a video like cruise. I was going to be like, okay, hey y'all. I'm going to be cruise for the day and wrap everything. But she has an over-the-shoulder mount, which you guys know I don't have with me here. And I tried doing it, and it looked awkward. So I was like, no, just wrap it on your own time. I emailed Miss uh, Crafty Michelle, who, again, like Heather Manning, has been super supportive during this health crisis. I cannot say the nicest things about these two women. All the way along, they're like, girl, take off whatever you need. Both women, guys, are fabulous people. Again, I'm going to say, if you want to join a collab that's run very well and has, like, very organized with kind people, Crafty Michelle and Heather Manning are those folks. No question. Hands down. And it gives me great great joy to say that. So I did email Crafty Michelle because I'm not getting home from the hospital, guys, till 8 o'clock at night, 7.30, and I'm so tired. So I am worried I'm going to miss the deadline today. Even if I use the project I brought versus the one I'm making now, I don't think I'm going to have time to film the video and upload it in time for her deadline. And that's not fair. She would probably give me an extension. Michelle has been nothing but amazing. But it's not fair to keep her waiting. It's not fair to keep everyone else in the collab waiting. And you know, I don't like to miss anything. And I don't miss. But in this particular case, I can't guarantee I'm going to get it in on time. So I wrote to Michelle and I said, maybe this is the week I should miss because I don't know that I can meet the deadline. So I'll wait to hear back what she says. Knowing Michelle, she'll say, girl, just take it off. I've told you that. She's, again, being supportive from the second this crisis has happened. So if you don't see me on Spooktacular Halloween this week, you know why. I am, however, likely to be fine for Heather's because the one upside to uploading on Sundays is I have a few extra days. So it gives me a little bit of a buffer to safeguard me. And again, I could use the project I already created or I can see if I can finish the, the one that I'm trying to do for this week. But I have new costumes. I have new costumes. Very excited about that. It's Friday, folks, and it's the start of a weekend, and I hope whatever you're doing that it gives you a whole bunch of joy. I want to thank each of you, those of you who have texted, those of you who sent me messages on Instagram, those of you who have left me messages here. Thank you. Believe it or you know, I'm not a religious girl, you know that. But y'all have been real supportive about my mom, and I so appreciate it. I so, so appreciate it. I'm close with my mom, and I, I'm worried. So even though everything is being taken care of, she's getting excellent care, your girl is worried. And that's why she's still here. So until my mom is on her feet, I so appreciate all of your well wishes. For those of you who like this girl are a little less religious. Um, and for those of you praying, I really appreciate it. It's a very, very generous thing for you to do. And I want you to know it means a lot. All right, folks, I'm going to actually today, I'm going to have a little lunch with my best friend. I have not seen her because I've been at the hospital all the time. So we're going to have a little lunchy lunch, and she's going to take me to the Michaels to get my glue, and then down to the hospital. So I'm going to have a little time with her, which is awesome. That's her cell phone and her talking in the background. My girl talks on the phone from the time she gets up till she goes to sleep. I am not a phone person. I don't know how she does it. I'd be pooped. But she's a phone girl, so she's on the phone chit-chattering, waiting for me to make my video. And uh, so we're going to head off, go to Michaels, have some lunch, and then... She's going to scoop me down to the hospital, which is really nice of her. She's been awesome. She has been awesome. So I'm very lucky. All right, y'all. If I have any energy, I'll be back on later tonight when I get home from the hospital. Maybe 8 p.m. I don't know, like yesterday. 
If I don't, I'm just going to keep wrapping the little mini racks and get everything off in the mail on Monday. All right. Take real good care. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday.